So I started Dazzlers when I was about in kindergarten. And from the day I started, I never stopped dancing with Dazzlers. Dance is a great thing by itself, but doing it at Dazzlers is something, I think, completely different yeah. and more. You don't see it at any other dance studio. Yeah. Yeah, so. I started Dazzlers in 1998 when I was in third grade um, and from the first day I started there wasn't ever that pressure to fit a certain mold you know it felt like anybody belongs you know like in Cheers you know where everybody knows your name like that's really cliche but it's true I think the reason Dazzlers was such a big part of my life for really my whole life was something that I probably couldn't articulate at the time but now looking back I realize what it was was it was a community it was a place to belong, and it was a sisterhood. It was it was comfortable. You could be who you were, and um, you didn't have to hold anything back. You could come, and you could be yourself. Um, you didn't have to worry about putting on a face. It was our growing up experience. We started as children, and we ended as young adults. And so um, we got to see each other's highs and lows and just go through life together. Yeah, Dazzlers, it is family. That's like the very definition that it's for. Seeing so many of the same faces from 20 years ago is a very cool feeling to walk in and know that all of these people value what's happening here and they value it enough to be sticking around for 20 years and keeping the values that we desperately need. All of my instructors, you know, Karen Euler, Cindy Harrington, Beth Vaughn, and all the other instructors made a huge impact on my life. I looked up to them as mothers and wives and leaders and teachers and Christian women. And that's a legacy I definitely want to live up to. My favorite memory, it's Lynn's like life lessons. Every week she would have like a different life lesson. For I don't know if she meant to but it just was the kind of thing that came out from her teaching. There was this one practice yeah. the year before our last where we were going through the routine and everybody was just kind of like marking it because you know we were tired. Especially the pirouettes. Yeah the pirouettes and like the leaps and the tricks and all that stuff and Lynn just was like hey why are you doing this? This is dance practice. Like, where else are you going to practice a like full-on leap? If you don't practice a dance practice, where are you going to do it? And, and it's like, after that, I don't think anyone ever marked anything again on that team. They're like, okay, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it 110%. Yeah. Anyone who's had Lynn Euler as a teacher knows that physically you will be so drained. I would like to see anybody doing the work we do in those routines in a minute and a half, because like, there's long distance runners and that's great, but we're kind of like the sprinters. We have a whole lot of energy and we get a lot done in that little bit of time. After I was in Dazzlers for two years, then I felt confident enough to try out for cheerleading when I was in college. Mm -hmm. And I was a cheerleader for at uh, Christian University for three years. If it wasn't for Dazzlers, I wouldn't have made my college dance team. I actually, um, my second year, I was co-captain. I credit big time um, being a part of Dazzlers with the opportunity I had to go on and dance in college as well. And I was so nervous for my audition at that college. And it was really incredible watching 10 years of dance pay off there. I had a lot of trust going into Dazzlers because looking back as a parent it was really important for me to know that my girls were never going to walk away from a situation feeling like they had um, had their self-esteem knocked at all and I never had that in Dazzlers. I left every time feeling um, confident and empowered. The teenage years can be hard and it was so important to have somewhere where I felt positive about my body and I felt comfortable in my own skin and I never felt, you know, shamed. When I was in Dazzlers for the younger years, um, it was just really fun. You know, I love the environment. I just love dancing with Dazzlers and I don't think I really understood the difference, you know, in our choreography and our costumes and how it really didn't make us be many adults and many 
like women before our time, that men didn't make me grow up to a woman faster than I needed to. Dazzlers was a constant connection to God for me. When I was in middle school and high school, I really struggled with my connection with God. Um, and I think Dazzlers really kind of kept it there for me. Um, it, I think that without Dazzlers, I might have completely drifted away from God. I, I went through some tough experiences in middle school and high school, and it was kind of a constant reminder for me. It not only built my confidence just in myself and my abilities, Dazzlers built my confidence in my Heavenly Father. And so then taking the stage older for my senior solo, I was panicked. Something that I absolutely admired Mrs. Euler for is that she came onto the stage in the dark with each senior before they perform and she'd pray with them. And it was a really calming moment for me. It was like all of the internal noises just shut off and the stage fright just melted. I forgot halfway through my routine that there was anyone there until I stepped out of my turn and they just went, they just exploded. I think that sometimes when you're growing up it's easy to think of God as this um, big guy in the sky and you don't always think about the aspect that you can worship him in everything that you do in everyday life and so dance for me was a really great way of understanding that you don't have to be at church to be worshiping God. You don't have to necessarily even be praying to be worshiping God. You can worship Him through everything that you're doing. And I think that praying before every practice and praying before every competition um, really helped to solidify that and to help me to understand that it's, it's about more than just dancing. It really is about Jesus and that there's a lot more to it. My view of God was just kind of church. Dazzlers really taught me that you can really glorify God in everything you do, you know, like let us praise His name with dancing, that you can do things as under the Lord that maybe don't, uh, appearances look like they're Christian or glorifying to God, but yet they are. Because in life, there are so many other distractions and things going on that just going to dance and kind of like taking a little break and like recentering yourself to like what's really important and um, your relationship with God. That's kind of a big part of what Dazzler did for me. Sometimes it became hard to find it, the time to actually devote the time that I probably should have been putting into my relationship with him and knowing that I'm going there and then everybody's there to follow the Lord and what they're doing and to grow with him. Um, especially when we would pray at the end in the circle, it just kind of made everybody feel like one with each other. You know, we decided early on that we wanted our girls to try dance. And when we knew that Dazzlers was an option, we were just thrilled um, because it made a big impact in our decision that God was going to be honored. And then for them to see that there's so many different people um, of faith around it was um, a fun plus for us. I'm expecting a little girl in September of this year and I'm just super excited to be able to put her in Dazzlers when she's old enough so she can experience the same things that I did. I honestly, that's the first thing I thought of when I found out it was a girl. I'm like, I'll be okay because she'll be in Dazzlers. Like, it, because it is, it's another family. Like, I miss you guys. <laughs>I think it was my senior year um, backstage of the spring show. Um, Ms. Euler and Ms. Harrington were praying and every year they, uh, they ask if anybody else wants to pray, they can just join in after um, and say something. And I remember as I started praying, I just started crying and crying and crying because, <laughs> because I didn't want it to be over. I miss it. Um, I miss Dazzler so much and it, it truly is an amazing organization and I appreciate everything that they've done for me. If you look back at the legacy that you've created in this community, it is really unparalleled to have something that has been 
so consistent and so dedicated to your belief system, but to also pouring into the lives of countless girls who grow up to be women and raise their own children, you're infecting generations. I'm just so happy that you guys chose to create this beautiful organization 20 years ago. I mean, without it, I would have spent 13 years of my life a lot more lost than I was. I just love it. Love it. It's been an incredible story. <laughs>